monkeying around. In case you didn't know, San Francisco joined New York last week in declaring a state of emergency over monkeypox. They are the only two cities in the U.S. experiencing uncontrolled outbreaks of monkeypox, making them twin sore spots for the outbreak. Notwithstanding this DEFCON Level 4 state of emergency, San Francisco has oddly enough green-lighted a long-awaited community festival, a festival described in the media as a leather fetish festival called Up Your Alley, or for short, Door Alley. Not sure about you, but not alleys I want to venture down. Now to put in perspective just how serious a threat monkeypox is in San Francisco, well, San Francisco canceled Door Alley Festival in 2020 due to, oh yeah, COVID. For those of you familiar with the Daily Wire, you may have seen a recent article in which David Harris, 29, a self-described bisexual man, was quoted uh, as he had attended previous fetish festivals. David put his finger on the obvious and said the quiet part out loud, saying, The same population that's being most affected by the disease is the same population that attends these events, most exclusively. Experts? Michael Davidson, 40, who has also attended Door Alley in the past, predicted this year's fair will be a monkeypox super spreader event. Both Davidson and Harris intend to skip the event this year. Thank goodness, though, that these science deniers aren't running San Francisco's public health department. What a disaster that would be. Thankfully, saner voices have prevailed. Organizations such as the San Francisco AIDS Foundation, which has come out with sage advice encouraging everyone to attend and even has a helpful web page for tips and tricks for avoiding the pox while still enjoying X-rated fun. Thank goodness for the experts, huh? Here's the advice they're offering up if you are planning on going. Cover up your own bumps. See a bump on your skin and worry that it might be monkey pox? If you're not sure and you still want to go out tonight, cover it up with a band-aid or clothing before you go out. If you feel like it's likely to be monkey pox, for instance, if you know you may have been exposed, it makes sense to stay at home and wait on going out until you get it checked out by your local healthcare provider. You can't make this up. This shit just writes itself. The San Francisco AIDS Foundation advises people that if you're not sure whether the bumps are monkeypox, just hide them and go out anyway. Now that's chivalry at its finest. Sir Lancelot would be proud. All things being equal, San Francisco's cases are still in pretty small numbers at least relative to other recent disease emergencies. And there's no scary trend line showing at this point. The new cases, while elevated, are not spiking or anything. I guess that's why the folks in charge in San Francisco decided to green light this super spreader event. I'll ask the obvious question that any 80-year-old would. Why is San Francisco putting all its residents under a state of emergency, but allowing a fetish super spreader event to occur where local influencers are encouraging symptomatic people to attend anyway and conceal their symptoms. What gives? Unless, of course, corporate media experts who are insisting that the pox is not limited, is sorry, is not an STD, but can be transmitted by anyone to anybody at any time, really know that's not the truth. Why would I make such a bold statement? Because it's science stupid. This is if you still turn to the New England Journal of Medicine for your science. In a recent peer-reviewed study, link in the comment section, the author said this, Sexual activity, largely among gay or bisexual men, was by far the most frequented suspected route of transmission. The strong likelihood of sexual transmission was supported by the findings of primary genital, anal, and oral mucosal lesions, which may represent the inoculation site. Monkeypox virus DNA that was detectable by PCR in seminal fluid in 29 of the 32 cases in which seminal fluid was tested further supports this hypothesis. So, unless we are redefining sexually transmitted disease today, you know, like recession, men and women, 
Monkeypox sure sounds like one to me. Any expert saying it's not an STD is actually spreading dangerous misinformation. Not that they'll get censored or anything, though. Still doubt me? Then riddle me this, Batman. If it's not an STD, then explain why these are the requirements to obtain a vaccine for monkeypox in New York City. Eligibility indicates the required field. People who meet all of the following criteria are eligible to be vaccinated, and I quote, are a gay, bisexual, or other man who has sex with men and or are transgender, gender non-conforming, or gender non-binary, are age 18 or older, wait a minute, I can give vaccines to younger, but never mind, have had multiple anonymous sex partners in the last 14 days. Yikes. And if monkeypox can affect anyone, regardless of sexual orientation, why is the vaccine limited to gay men who've had multiple or anonymous sex partners in the last two weeks? Before this year, I would have guessed New York's vaccine criteria described a pretty narrow slice of the population. How many people could possibly fit this description, even in a liberal city such as New York? It's not like New York City is a modern-day Sodom or Gomorrah, right? Now I know some of you who live by the adage, govern me harder, daddy, need further proof. Well, Washington, D.C. has these guidelines for receiving the vaccination. Currently, the eligibility for the vaccination includes D.C. residents that are 18 years of age or older that fit one of the following descriptions. Gay, bisexual, and other men 18 and older who have sex with men and have had multiple sexual partners on or any anonymous sexual partners in the last 14 days. Transgender women or non-binary persons assigned male at birth who have sex with men. Sex workers, staff at establishments where sexual activity occurs, including bathhouses, saunas, and sex clubs. Okay. Every single one of the groups defined on the DC vaccination requirement includes the word sex. So, Maybe TV doctors and media monkeypox experts say it's not an STD, but everyone else seems to think it is. I'm thinking, walks like a duck, quacks like a duck. Chances are, it's not a monkey. Anyway, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Please post any comments you have in the comment section. As always, uh, you're, like I said, welcome to leave those comments. You can follow me on my Rumble on my Locals account, and I will see you next time.